Are you struggling to conceive? You have options, and at Piedmont Reproductive Endocrinology Group, we'll make sure you have the guidance and support you need. Preg is known for individualized fertility care that's unique to every patient. We take the time to provide a reassuring and empowering experience because we believe that you deserve nothing less. Let us help you on your journey to parenthood. Visit us at pregonline.com to learn more. Get the guidance and support you need at Piedmont Reproductive Endocrinology Group. Okay, round two. Name something that's not boring. A laundry? Ooh, a book club. Computer solitaire, huh? Ah, oh, sorry. We were looking for Chumba Casino. That's right. Chumbacasino.com has over 100 casino-style games. Join today and play for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. Chumbacasino.com. No purchase necessary. Forward, believe it by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> let's get started. I have thought a lot in the last 24 hours. I want, I boom, you know. Time to get your weekly sports fix. By the skin of their teeth, they lost. You know, then you can just ride in the whole thing. With sticks. Whoa, homie, what's happening? We finally getting to connect this week, brother. A weekend activity. For Man. the boys, yes, I can't believe I went across the whole slate. I couldn't find nothing interesting for college for me to to do anything with to even catch my attention. So it was like, and I watched a little bit of hockey this morning, but nothing was keeping my attention, bro. I think I've been watching too much TV, G. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Have you have you ever had a situation where dudes like us, we love sports. We could literally watch sports. We could watch sports stories. We could watch the area, all that shit, right? But it's sometimes where I like, I separate and I start watching like shows and I'll be locked in, G. Okay, I just yeah. was watching. The, so they just came out with a remake of The Eraser. You remember The Eraser with Arnold Schwarzenegger? Yeah. You have been erased. They just did a remake of that that they just put on HBO Max that just dropped for free. And I just watched that and you know how remakes go. Yeah, it is what it is. You know- I, so I had to watch it, but they crowbarred the... You have not been erased. You're going to crowbar in an old Arnold Schwarzenegger line. Oh, uh, they did cat. dirty yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you yeah. know what it is, homie, is I don't know how you feel about this, but this is kind of how I get to take. Well, first of all, with my depression, is kind of like kind of kicking me out of the game a little bit. Can't get excited about nothing and all that. Right. But to to compound that is is our brutal betting record in the last oh. few weeks that his – uh kind of put a damper on that it's hard to watch these games sometimes and get bought in when you know what should happen and then you got shit that doesn't happen the way that you know it should happen and you're like oh wait like we talked about last week oh this team's good all of a sudden they're shit the week before right. now they're great or this team is great and now they're shit and stuff like that but i feel it though i mean you know and then i think it's kind of the 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 turn between uh you know, still coming off the Mariners uh, bandwagon, not bandwagon, but Mariners hype, you know, right. going in. I mean, yeah, I still caught a little uh, MLB action last night, um, but it was more of like, you know, having some beers with the boys and chilling and, and watching yeah. the game and some some wings and all that good something stuff. Can, something can catch my attention over here now where, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like I could, I might entertain something else right now. I ain't, I, I'm not a hundred thousand percent connected. So that, that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Cause I could I at least find out what's going on in the world nowadays. Yeah. yeah. Right. And then, you know, we had to keep pushing it back and we had all these ideas and now we're pushing the last uh, day before, you know, NFL gets in, but uh, yeah, man, I feel you, homie. Sometimes you have to take that little bit of disconnect. It's kind of what yeah. I did this week too. I had all these freaking interviews all at once and it's like, boom, 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 which is good, you know? So, but yeah, man. And you know, uh, and you know me I at the same it. time. I'm looking, I want a hype story. I need a week full of hype stories that just has me salivating, ready to talk, talk up, you know, and which mean? is surprising that, you know, there's not, I mean, we could probably, we'll probably get into it here in a second, but you know, NBA, like they usually got some good crackhead stories going on or some foolish, foolishness in the first week. And, and, uh, to get you going, but you, you, you ain't got nothing going there. You know, it this is, is the quiet. first time. And I think that, uh, 
I think after this week, bro, it's going to start popping off with all this stuff. Yeah. You know, the World Series in full effect. Exactly. We got the crack and rolling. You got the NBA nonsense going down. Uh, my apologies, Dirk Irvin, for uh, calling out your Blazers and uh, talking mm. about how they were 4 0 and then they get beat the day that I. I mean, you, I come on. It was, it, a fo- it's a, it was a phony. Uh, it's a phony record. I mean, to be honest with you, it's the beginning of the season. It's a small sample size. They're undefeated ATS or whatever. Mm-hmm. You know, you know this ain't gonna last because who do you know on that squad besides the boy Dimes? You don't know anybody but Damian Lillard. That's it. Mm-hmm. And you might know Simons because he's, you know, uh, he's causing a little bit of conversation down there and Nurkic, but uh, uh, whatever his name is, David, I'm sitting up here trying to say it again. Nurkic, Nurkic, Nur- Nurkic? I don't damn yeah. it know. Okay. <laughs> That's what his name is. Okay. He plays in Portland. So we don't need to know unless his name was Damian Lillard. So, uh, and yeah. So, I mean, it's cool for them. They mean they beat Denver and beat a, beat a couple teams. Okay. But for what? I mean, it's week one. Yeah, week one and still getting in the action. It's also, well, it's, uh, like I said, checked out the, the MLB game last night. You know, uh, our plays were uh, Philly plus, or Philly money line first five, which they ended up pushing, which is pretty good when they were down, what, 3-0 and then 5-2 or 5-2 five, five, or Same. something like that. Um, and then, Kick uh, you know, Jones went in on the, uh, our boy Jones went in on the, on the game money line. I think it was like plus 150 ish and, uh, mm-hmm. took the, took the sports fix with sticks and not big homies advice and That's placed all. that little wager. So, uh, Hey, we got some winners out there for y'all every once in a while, but what'd you think of, did you get to see any of that game one last night? Ah, man, well, like I said, I, I was wrapped up in streaming services, bro. <laughs> I completely forgot. Right. So I completely forgot. So I end up, missing missing the jump off and uh, and, and missed the, the the one i guess the second best thing that happened last night was old boy thinking that he knew the lyrics to the star spangled band <laughs> I, I i remember watching that but i didn't catch it but i did kind of okay. hear about it now this is this is in homie's ballpark welcome to homie international field okay this is where <laughs> i love to hanging out at right here Look, it, that shows you that you wasn't even paying attention to the damn national anthem, bro. Years ago, I remember you having uh, uh, getting a little warm, okay, a little heated about us being at a game and my behavior pattern during the national anthem. It, 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 look, it's got to stop, bro. Okay, I'm going to tell you, when the you start turning the national anthem into a joke because half the fools either can't sing or two, don't know the damn lyrics, we're not playing another country. You're turning the damn national anthem into a joke by singing it before every sporting event. You got to relax with that, okay? I understand that we're the greatest country in the world and all of that. We don't need to tell ourselves that. Did, he, did he mess event. up the whole thing or just a, no, a, this a dude bit did, of... He did a, a triple remix, bro. I heard, I think I heard the damn second chorus line with the rockets red glare and all that i heard that twice bro <laughs> you know what i'm saying and it, everything was uh, uh still streaming okay <laughs> multiple times <laughs> you know what I'm saying? the rockets it was like had a- red glare multiple times you know what i'm saying and and i was like and then the crowd was like you know they were showing the the players and they had you know a couple of bryce harper they was on him for a second and it looked like his eyebrow kind of did a thing but he was trying to keep a straight face like, what <laughs> the was like, hell just happened uh, you know i was ho- i was thinking that he was like an english dude or something because it was it was it was a brother and he had dreads and you never know nowadays i've been watching so many of these damn shows everybody got a damn english accent nowadays you know what I'm saying? So I don't know who's English and who's American nowadays when I just look at them, right? It's like when you look at the at the Latin brothers playing 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 baseball. We never know. You know what I'm saying? They got a nice fresh lineup, a nice fade. I be wanting to go, what's up, homie? And they go, can I talk on day? And I go, oh, <laughs> right. shit, my bad, dog. So it was one of those. I thought he was an English dude. And I'm like, okay, so why would they have an English dude singing the Star Spangled Banner? So I guess he's off the hook with that. I mean, but he's not dude from Texas, man. <laughs> Texas? He ain't going to be allowed back in Texas ever again. You think somebody is heavily engrossed in flag waving? It is Texas. You know what I'm saying? That's the best major disrespect for them. 
Ooh, well, I don't even want to be in his neighborhood. Bro. Well, Philly pulled out that game one last night, which was pretty good. Uh, extra innings, 10 innings, yeah, I believe. That, man. Got the homer plus 160 for the series, like you said. Um, and, and you brought up this question, homie. So this is interesting. And I didn't even freaking realize that Houston's fourth World Series in I'm six old. years. Uh, 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 they want to win this one badly. They forget about the cheating. I, I got you there. You, gotta for sure. cl- you That's the mission this year for them. This squad, Senor Altuve, and his mission with his new cast of characters, their, new, their mission is to win this damn thing so we can flush all of that. And then we can start talking about how many appearances we've had because they're on a a golden state warriors type of run right here with just four out of six yeah you know what i'm saying yeah the the dodgers haven't even done that you know what i'm saying the yankees haven't done that big market squads have not done that in mlb major league baseball and since the yankees was on it well well let's see the braves yankees braves had a run but that was before the yankees or maybe at the same time where they were just in constantly. You know this. You, we always talk about that TBS yeah. superstation. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Atlanta Braves squad. They was always there. And then the Yankees came with them. And then we haven't had somebody that we could rely on to get there all the time. And they've done it not quietly, I guess, but like Yo, being in we- the division with the Mariners, you would think I would realize that. <laughs> you right, know? right, right. I'm like, oh, shit. Yeah, that's right. They have been there. I was like, holy and cow. It's been, and it's been noisy. They didn't have drama with them. You right. know what I'm saying? It's not this like whole they're just time. flying under the radar. And, and we just, there's and no talk. No yeah. talk about the Astros. And it's all Dodgers. All, all the Dodgers will win this, this, this series or the season, uh, hands down. Oh, watch out for the Yankees. Yeah, Aaron Judge and this and that. And then the Mets. Okay, they got that. They got that. Uh, they got the that hype rotation. coming back. Yeah. Yep, they got that rotation. So these are the teams we're talking about. And the this Braves year. that are sneaking in every year now. Brave defending champion, Atlanta Braves. Yep. These are the teams we choose to talk about this year. And uh, I don't know if Toronto even got enough love this year for being as good as they've been the last couple as of years. As young and as good. Right, right. Yeah, exactly. For sure. So this is who we choose to talk about. But these damn Astros done been there. They done already copped one and they done been there multiple times. Come on, man. Yeah, I mean, we'll we got to. I, I, it, even me, I gotta give, I gotta relax on him a little bit because it's only Senior Altuve there to talk shit to, so I'm gonna keep doing it until he gone. <laughs> <You know what's laughs> until he's gone. Yeah, I mean that's good. I'd like to see you know another game two tonight on on Saturday, so probably tune in, click back and forth through that. Yeah, um, I, I, I peeped the game script uh, on the uh, on the um, uh, the ninth and the uh, or the the top of the the uh, bottom of the ninth and the top of the tenth. I kind of wanted to see how it you know played out mm-hmm. and uh man it, it, it looks like mlb tried to get the astro they had man man on base baby man yeah. on base to man tie they were it up. they were freaking even earlier in the in uh when they only scored a couple runs in those innings that they did score um the phillies bounced back i mean they had you know philly scored i think i think all their runs they scored at the first the five runs we're with two outs and yeah. like one runner on. I noticed that. So, I mean, they were playing some ball and getting to that bullpen. I mean, we talked about Verlander. I think he's Owen. I don't think he, well, he didn't get the loss last night. So it's tied, but he's, right, right. Oh, he has like eight starts. Owen six and a five something ERA. Yeah. Uh, like the worst ERA out of so many starts in, in world series history. Um, didn't, so, uh, didn't real Muto's shot come off of, uh, 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 Garcia bit in the pin and what was it Presley race? or I thought it was Garcia. I thought Ar- Garcia is one of their Garcia you know, came heavy in arms. That tenth. Yeah. yeah. I think he gave up the home run. Yeah. Well, their so. bullpen's been solid the whole freaking year, man. And and uh I think the starter tonight, if I remember correctly, Valdez or yeah, Framber Valdez, I think his name is, like hasn't given up a um, home run since uh October. July 3rd and like at home, like 60 innings pitched at home since then. Uh, so he's due for one tonight. So if you got any prop bets out there, you might as well Man, throw something out there on I, a home I, run I, hit. Cause you know, I, that's coming to a I rise. already missed out on my play for the series. I just told you at the very beginning, I would take the peas and plus plus one sixty on the series. If I would have drove down you, there and been able to get that or even close 165, 155, I'd have took it. Right. That's yeah, what I think. It, that's what I think it. is going to happen. But I, I don't know. I just kind of feel like they're going to try to put the cherry on the top of this Houston thing. So the MLB can clean up 
the talk about the cheating. Yep. And you know that they, yeah, they're definitely yes. looking for that. It's like, um, well, yeah, it's, it's like a freaking NFL and their nonsense that they have going on. And uh, I will remind me to tell you about the clip I saw. I forgot to send it to you and see if you've seen, it. I've seen, you seen it, mm. but let's just, uh, let's knock out NHL real quick. Um, mm. Go Kraken, baby. What are they? Fourth place, I think. Eight points. Yeah, three, right in the right in the middle of the pack in the three, Pacific, four, and man. two. This is good. Uh, five and nine in the over games, and yes, six and nine in the over one piece. Which the over one P, dude, we did not see it jump this high this quick last year. You from weren't, one and you a half seeing twos. Yeah, to you two. weren't seeing twos until like way after the All Star break, and the twos were like on Florida Panthers. And you even know what I mean? some of the and even some of the twos I've noticed have been hitting, and I'm like. Yes. Well, holy Look at, snap. Three well, goals in the first period. Tell the people about the juice on the over now. <laughs> oh, yeah. What is the lowest that the lowest you're gonna see right now? Is God, the, what is know, it? Is it 135? It's at least one, so that's that's if you're lucky, bro. I'll it's tell like you, always 150, 170. Uh and you just can't <sighs> I know it and like I'll tell you that. I'm still on the now I'm trying to find rock solid research going the other way. Right. Right. So I'm going to need some time, but trust me, this season, it will come. If this trend still stays the same, I am closely monitoring the under one piece situation. Trust me, because I think it's going to be, there's going to be a few teams that we'll be able to rely on just like this season right now, mark it up. Here is the homie uh, spill job for the day. Cur <clears throat> Excuse me. Current over teams, Minnesota wild, First period overs. Uh, first period overs. <clears throat> Thanks for the clarification. Minnesota Wild, Calgary Flames, Los Angeles Kings. Uh, I would probably the Kraken. Absolutely, I don't want to forget them. Kraken. There's one more. There's one more that I'm forgetting. There's one more that I'm forgetting. I'm not going to look it up because there's plenty of time for this stuff to materialize. But those off the top of my head are diehard, rock solid so far. With only what are we talking about? Nine games played in the, yeah. in the NHL season. Those are your current rock solid teams. I've already went over the today's slate. Trust me, I have. And guess who is playing each other? Oh, here it is, Edmonton, Calgary, Edmonton. Look at that. These are two teams in the top five. Num okay, check this out. G a uh, goal uh, goals allowed goals for. So goal scored in P1 and goals allowed in P1. <laughs> Both of I'm, them? I'm telling you, I'm, I'm, I'm getting it from all directions now. I'm not playing with this 1P, man, because I'm telling you, I, I was early on it before the sharp started talking about where the that the money is in 1P instead of, you know, uh, money lines and total for hockey. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to try to find something either for the one P I'm about to search really hard. If I'm going to need confirmational information on, on over, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Under, I will have a scheme I'm working on. Well, I uh, look forward to those uh, plays from you, homie. Yeah. We'll I'm too, I'm uh, too busy get getting, it. I'm too busy. Every time I try to go get a piece of information, I'm getting a text message from Tiffany Smiley. You know who Tiffany Smiley is, man? <laughs> <laughs> do you know who tiffany smiley is man uh, yep i've seen her commercials uh all that stuff you get text messages hey, hey. at we least you're not just getting text about messages from maryland See? that's what i'm saying we were just talking all the week about how you be getting random text messages this chick is uh, uh, she's attaching videos she's telling me her whole life story she gonna get me busted with my woman because <laughs> these texts is coming through all hours of the night and no kidding, a, no, I haven't a, got any of the ones from what, Washington what yet. Name? How you get my information? I, I, I don't even even when you bring a register. I'm not even trying to be a registered voter, G, because I feel like it's irresponsible for me to be a registered voter and go in there and mark out anything on the Scantron. And I don't know the uh, the political climate in my neighborhood and all of that. I'm not, you know, I'm not informed enough, so I'm not going to do it. Yeah, if when not I get a little bit that. older, exactly when I get a little bit older and I start giving real shits. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to start, you know what I'm saying, start marking down the scan, trying to get my vote on. But as of right now, lady, you better lose my damn number. Because <laughs> I was, I, I was, girl, I was this close to texting back some foul shit. But I was like, they know who I, my I wonder if is. you can get, I wonder if you can text back. 
it's, or if it'll just be like go to some dummy like yeah. you know some dummy uh i just wanted spam. you know me you know me i just wanted to text back some foul shit but i was just not, i was like okay they know my name clearly <laughs> and, and they and know they my, my number out. clearly so that's a real short uh, uh, jaunt over to my address and everything else. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Nah, Surprised they haven't been alone. knocking at the door, dropping yeah. off uh, Tiffany flyers Smiley for you. Tiffany need to relax, though. <laughs> she really do. Hey, hey. You, heard, you, heard, you heard Brittany got nine, though. How you feel about that? We we missed that the last time. That was on my notes for like a, a week and a half, uh, two weeks back, I think. They gave Brittany nine over there in Russia, bro. She ain't getting out. There's no, there's no, they don't have a court of appeals over there. This ain't like a, you know, a, a, a bicameral situation where you can appeal to somebody in the court. <laughs> they're going to have to, they're going to have to do a bait and switch trade and trade and trade up or whatever. Yeah. The merchant of death or something, but I don't oh, understand Lord. that. But Pete don't, I mean, if I, I, the nine years, whatever it is, what it is, but look at what's going to happen. You know what's going to end up happening. It's exactly what you said. Now it's going to be a diplomacy situation to where now the government has to get involved because she's somebody, right? Now, let's go back to the original thing. What she get busted with, G? Vapes shit. Some level of weed. Yeah. Man, you want to know how many people in the United States busted for weed right now that's still in jail and the shit's legal. You can go get some from the store. They uh, still in jail on some old school shit for having a couple ounces on some 1990s shit. And they still in jail on some shit like this, probably. Lucky Land Casino, asking people, what's the weirdest place you've gotten lucky? Lucky? In line at the deli, I guess? Aha, in my dentist's office. More than once, actually. Do I have to say? Yes, you do. In the car before my kid's PTA meeting. Really? Yes. Excuse me, what's the weirdest place you've gotten lucky? I never win and tell. Well, there you have it. You can get lucky anywhere, playing at LuckyLandSlots.com. Play for free right now. Are you feeling lucky? No purchase necessary. Void prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details. With Lucky Land Slots, you can get lucky just about anywhere. This is your captain speaking. Uh, we've got clear runway and the weather's fine, but we're just going to circle up here a while and uh, get lucky. No, no, nothing like that. It's just these cash prizes add up quick. So I suggest you sit back, keep your tray table upright, and start getting lucky. Play for free at LuckyLandSlots.com. Are you feeling lucky? No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details. And fast forward, it is legal to go cop in the store like a six pack of beer, G, in most states. Okay, so. Yep. Hey, come on. Back in my young days, I mean, the, 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 the anonymous uh, smuggling homie <laughs> got on an airplane with an ounce of dirty sticks and seeds weed back in the day when I didn't know no better in my drawers. Who didn't? Everybody <laughs> right. did. But I wasn't trying to be Pablo Escobar, dog. You know what I'm saying? I was 17, 18, and didn't know no better. It was like, hey, this ain't metal. Put it in your drawers. Hey, I got through, and I got to where I was going and got a chance to smoke a joint in my young life. Okay? But I know that nowadays, post 9-11, I ain't fucking around with anything that, I, if it's sharp in my toiletry bag, <laughs> okay, I'm leaving it home. I'm leaving it at home. I'm leaving it at home. It ain't home. even putting in there. Scissors, if I need to chip the beard up, and no, fuck it. Hey, it's just gonna be it's gonna be just looking like ass because I'm not fooling around post 9-11. Not that even just a ain't chance. a thing. Don't do it. Leave it alone, y'all. I'm telling y'all, y'all think y'all want to go to Cancun and you'll take a little something with you. Hey, run into them federalities if you want to. I'm gonna tell you right now, watch this show on Nat Geo, uh, where they be busting people at the airport. And testing their luggage and shit. Oh, they have all you sorts of those shows on that you channel ain't out there. You ain't going to never want to try to. Almost got away with it. No, nah, you ain't going to never want to do that, G. Don't no, do it. No, not now. You don't want to test In another water. country? In another country. <laughs> you remember the dude from back in the day with the gum in like 90s? He was in Singapore and he threw some gum on the ground and they caned his ass. And that shit oh. was like national news like 20, 30 years ago. They beat his ass. You're going to go to another country and think that they, your American ass uh, rules is going to apply because I'm over here. Motherfucker, they cutting off hands. They don't hey. play this shit. You better keep, mind the rules of other countries, Americans. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Don't you heard it here. That way. That again. way. 
we ain't got to hear your ass on the news talking about your ass got cane. Okay, you got your hand lopped off. You in a jail somewhere. We don't need to hear it because you should have been doing what the hell you were supposed to be doing in the right in the first place. Not getting in trouble. Not trying to push the the envelope. The weed. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, oh, so, so, man full steven a. well hey steven a god <laughs> remember to subscribe it. rate and review on whatever favorite podcast platform you listen to we'd appreciate it go to this funner.com for more podcasts and online content there. grab some merch while you're there from the funner family check us out on books. youtube when you get a chance and smash and subscribe that like button Follow me on Twitter at stick015. Follow this guy, announce big homie at homie underscore anonymous. Use that hashtag sticks and sports. And it will uh, you know, we're all over the the Twitter verse getting it all ready to go for you. So, you know, we've been on there hitting up uh, some topics to get some replies back from you. Was. So we appreciate it. So follow bad, us, y'all. use it, and let's create some conversations especially when we got some nonsense in the nfl like every week that's what i'm saying all you got to do is just pose one question to us and then, whoo, you don't know where that question's going <laughs> yeah speaking of nfl let's jump right into it though homie yeah uh, i think we got to but hey uh what i was gonna tell you earlier did you see that i think it was a high school football game or it might have been a low college football game where they actually showed the ref put the ball down and they go over there and they measure it. They, they uh, use the chains to measure it out. And it's like a, a yard short, right? Okay. And the, 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 the umpire or the referee grabs the chain, pulls it back, moves the football up and says first down. In their face. It, it right it, like no right sneaking. on camera no not no sneaking nothing. like just ball movement and ball movement on the sideline the chain the uh the even the the chain guy looks at him <laughs> and is like what the hell just happened like what 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 literally just he happened he was right reaching now? for a flag he wanted to challenge that <laughs> he's like wait <laughs> he's no i'm like i'm on the chain way. gang and i want to challenge this yeah, that was wild, dude. I, I'll have to see if I – I'll see it again, I'm sure, now that we're talking about it, you know, and the cell phone's in hand. So as soon as you pull up Twitter after this, it'll probably be the first thing you pop up because you know everybody's always listening Tiffany Smiley style to you. So, so what, you, know. what you got for some NFL before we get into these week eight games? Well, I mean, I think that what we should probably do now at this time in the in the season, I think, because, you know, at a halftime, you know, what, what happens? Yeah, bring out the cheerleaders. You know, you have a couple dudes with some trampolines, some chick throwing bowls in the air on, on a unicycle. You bring out the you bring out the games. You bring out the shenanigans. And I think that at this point in time, we've seen enough of these these damn teams now. Half of them are probably on a shit list. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Right. But at the beginning of the year, the preseason, we made a lot of predictions. We thought a lot of shit would happen. Right. I mean, as normal people do, we pros in this game. We like to watch this stuff. So we thought a lot of shit was going to happen. Some shit did. Some shit didn't. <laughs> okay, <laughs> and, and some some stuff went horribly wrong. So I think that it's probably about time for us to do a, 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 a little a, midseason a, check in. Yeah. A little check back of, uh, of what the hell did we tell you? We told you we tried to tell you you knew this was going to happen. This bank on it. And we don't know a damn thing. And y'all know this from years prior. (laughs) We don't know too much about a a whole lot of shit. Okay. Okay. I'm not zeroing in and saying that I'm an expert on one particular game. I know a little bit about the whole schedule. (laughs) Okay. That's it. So that's how the the, the ad is going. So I think that as we go through and and do a little bit of that, we'll call back to some of uh, the week seven stuff. And uh, because week seven was wild. I'm going to give a real quick of what, this is how it went for the people at the counter in week seven. Notice that it was week seven. There were seven unders on the total. Wow. There were seven overs on the total. And there were seven road covers. Jeez. Week seven, y'all. That's Lucky just number that, seven. Hey, look seven, it. seven sevens. Drop Come on. Floor. This is just the homie just sitting out here, just scribbling stuff while, and watching games. And this stuff is just happening in front of us. So this is how crazy the NFL is. It's almost like secret society trying to keep denying. 
You know what I'm saying? Well, that's, we just like, ain't we, in yet. Yeah, and when we talk about it every week offline, all the all time, every day, especially on you know pregame and and postgame, it's like, wait, what the hell just happened again? Like, wh- exactly. where did the, where did where did Green Bay? decide well this is one of the things we don't know shit about right was uh green bay lost the new york giants and the jets back to back come on man and who (laughs) would ever see that but in your defense homie you did tell me remember i was all bragging about aaron Rodgers, how he's gonna do all this oh he'll be fine he'll be fine and you're like who's he gonna throw the ball to (laughs) and i said good point but (laughs) made up some bullshit (laughs) <laughs> you're right yep. homie and so, you be- and you believed in all the bullshit you were saying too <laughs> you know what i'm saying because <laughs> so that was kind of what we did tell you homie did tell you and what i did not know <laughs> yeah. we got both of them covered on both those topics right there I'm t- just like that and that's how simply it goes down because i'm telling you there was there's a whole lot of shit that we didn't know the kid right here is telling you and i will tell you the damn seahawks bro we no shit i'm sitting up here telling y'all that it's tank for Bryce time. As we started watching the college season, I added a couple more names in there. Let's add the rest of the Heisman crew in there. Let's tank for Hooker. Let's tank for Stroud. Uh, 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 let's tank, tank for Bryce. And let's tank for the other cat too that I always forget his name. Okay. No. <laughs> Why are the Seahawks not tanking for nobody? Because I guess they're they're expecting the tank from the Broncos to get that that first round pick and had just hope now i mean right now <laughs> right. with the broncos being two and five i don't see them going again this is one of those things you look at and they're playing in uh london this weekend against the jacksonville jaguars who are what uh two that's, and five that, themselves. that's a home for them that's right and, and it's yeah it's a home game for them and you look at this and you, this is going back to the seahawks and you're like yeah well they can't tank now because they're first in the division come on and you know, they have the, the opportunity when they have to play Seattle or they have to play San Francisco and the Rams still Coming. and Arizona one more yep. time. So after the first round of division games, now. after the first round of division games, do you decide what you're going to do? Because you're beating the Chargers. OK, and which is another thing that we didn't know shit about. The AFC West is garbage, <laughs> except for the Chargers are waiting around. They're in the, the kitty pool waiting around still. KFC, uh, yeah, KFC. Look KFC. at KFC. I'm on this <laughs> shit. Apparently, Kansas City, <laughs> Kansas City is still the class of the the league and that division. But we are getting zero participation from the Raiders, who on everybody's power rank sheet. And you should notice I'm looking around, including mine. The projection for the Raiders' offense is way up here. And right. Now look, and then the Broncos too. Okay, which we thought. You put Russell Wilson in a situation that's similar to what he had in Seattle. He at least will give you what he had over there. You got the two wide receivers. You got a couple more. And you got the two running backs. And you got a couple more. And then you got the rest of the squad. It's not working. We thought that division was going to be like knock down, drag out. You know what I'm saying? Grabbing, grabbing each other by the collar. Kicking right. Ass. And they were all like pretty evenly matched with the the to win the division you know from plus 700 to plus 400 up and down the whole division right they were basically everybody was saying hey flip a coin on this yeah. and even with kansas city being kansas city who they are and who they've been you know they kind of they had a couple of those those uh lackluster games of course when we jump on the bandwagon i'm like oh yeah they're gonna kill whoever they're playing yeah then they took a deuce right right uh but yeah you're 100 right the afc west is not the afc west that we thought they were gonna be at the beginning well, your, your, your boy i mean everybody's having a go at your men's on the way to london on the airplane Man. you know what I'm saying doing is calisthenics there? in the aisle i thought slim was bad yeah you know i thought the boy sticks was bad on the airplane <laughs> russell wilson <laughs> is doing the most on the airplane i'm not even gonna get into the stick shenanigans on the airplane oh <laughs> we've already discussed those numerous <laughs> times and those but russell are Wilson's on the you know what I'm saying? Doing his Jane Fonda uh, 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 while he's bumping into lineman arm. How much room is on a uh, on, on a team charter flight? Come on, dog. Yeah. Like, what are you doing? This is look at me, Louie. You ain't and they don't have they don't have some damn where. Yeah, who you, they don't have all wide receivers and and kickers sitting in the aisle on a freaking max jet going to London. I mean, there can't be that much room in there to be doing all that. And plus, man, sit your ass down. I'm trying sit to sleep over down, here. Geez. That's what I'm eight saying, hour flight, dog. dog. <laughs> 
<laughs> this guy. I mean, he's a weird dude, man. Get I don't up and know, do man. your stretches, but we ain't trying to be no doing what do you call it, Jane Fonda workout in this fucking I'm plane. I'm telling you, man. You think he's Jack Lelaine and shit? And but I mean, okay. So now speaking of this in that division this week, you don't get the luxury of seeing the two best teams because they own buys. Oh, why? Wow. Why only two teams are on buy this week? I guess that's a function of having the 18 week schedule. Maybe I don't know. But yeah, and like just with the KC over C game or whatever. Yeah, so it's just KC and the Chargers with the off with the off uh, this week, and uh, you know I'm looking at you know what's going on with because I mean okay obviously we I'm always gonna look at Joe B because I was looking a, a couple weeks ago and we were saying damn the Super Bowl teams. Ugh, they both look gross. What's wrong with them? Joe must have heard us because oh. he's like, he's like, yo, the last two weeks, he's like, I ain't playing that shit. Y'all. No, he he on fire, especially last week, week seven, when he was um uh, I guess Atlanta. Remember, I said we got to roll with the cover and the spread. That's what the experts tell us, and that's what the lines tell us, and that's what the against the spread tells you. Yep, and and sure it's the same. Shit. And remember last year when we noticed that Joe Burrow stopped bullshitting when he's just and he decided to forget the guy standing behind him. That's when they started balling. When they when he forgot that Joe Mixon was a part of the team and he starts flinging it. Yeah, that's what got him to the Super Bowl. So he or he said, "Okay, look, 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 all of this run." stuff that y'all trying to scheme into the thing no 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 nah, that's, not what, that. that's not that's not what got us to the place man so we got to get out there so i think that they're in for um a nice little bump man a nice little bump i think that they're gonna do okay but it'll be interesting when deshaun gets back in that division how how his effect on that team is because i mean is he practicing is he allowed to practice deshaun jackson yeah um... deshaun watson Oh, Deshaun the Watson. Browns. I'm talking about the Browns. Oh, yeah, play, Deshaun play Watson. The Browns this got week, you. And we're going to get into that. Oh, yeah. Well, they got, what, Deshaun uh, Watson. Cleveland's two and five. I mean, they're already getting – people are counting them out. Um, and I'm just saying if they he can could mess, he could make, he could make some different, you know, moves in the – as far as like they've already chalked win the a couple up. games towards yeah win a couple so, games at the right time if they play them towards the end you exactly, never know that's what i'm talking about so if he comes out and he now this game right here because clearly they'll be without deshaun watson in uh this game uh they've got the monday night showdown oh yeah uh, that, we'll, night that, that we'll get into but if this game right here will tell us a little something because that's one thing that we have no idea about right all we know is that the suspension is down and we're coming to the end of the suspension now. There's only a couple games left in this year's suspension. So yeah. what if, you know, the Browns are break even, right? And say this game is a close game between Cleveland and the uh, and Cincinnati and this divisional matchup. They ain't played the Ravens yet. Who cares about the Steelers, okay? So now what? Now the Browns might be in the mixture for that wild card because everybody plays is playing like shit in the AFC. That is true. The AFC is uh kind of up for grabs there in the wild card situation. Um, one one thing let's before we get into the let's get into the week eight, but uh um <laughs> I think we both agreed on this one, homie, and it's come almost on. about ready to come into fruition. Yep. Uh old Tom Brady about ready to be in the booth before the season's over. Um I don't necessarily see him stepping away mid-season however that is all signs are pointing to that it could very (laughs) well say it (laughs) (laughs) definitely i don't care i don't care about shock value or nothing like that okay it came to my head damn it so if i say that i think tom brady's gonna be in the damn booth calling a game before the season's over i'm gonna damn say it now whether it happens or not it's probably far-fetched right but the level of frustration you don't see tom brady tom brady frustrated like that and then to come up and lose the other day in a mat in a game i don't know i'm I'm mixing sports up i said match in a a (laughs) game where they had a good opportunity to come back in that game against baltimore they had a they had a chance in that game if they were playing their game if the tampa bay buccaneers were playing their game they should have been competitive coming down to the end. They weren't. They weren't. So that tells me the level of frustration that uh, he's feeling with, especially with break going down now. I don't know what all that does. I really don't because you got everybody else there. Why are you complaining? Leonard and I mean, Ford- it's not like he was 
missing Mike Evans by. He just don't uh, want it. The news came out. They, they look now it's official. Now it's out in the streets. Him and uh, Giselle is piecing out. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. now that it's out in the street and they've made a formal announcement about this business, now we're going to see whether he really truly wanted to be up at the games playing or if it was something else if it was just a money mission if it was just him the the way that he wanted to end his career you know what i'm saying i think it's just one of those things where he just wanted to end a certain way because yeah. look at serena serena wanted to end a certain way that's why at this u.s open the u.s open our national tournament they had all of these video things on her and all that. And then she won the first round, lost in the second. I don't think that's the way they wanted that to go. That's why she's out here talking about, oh, I'm about to be back in the next tournament. Why? You didn't want it to go down like that. Okay. So, yes, do we want it to go down like this? No. But is Tom Brady about to fuck up his name, his good name in these streets? I don't think so. <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think he would care to take a step back and go, Y'all go ahead. I don't care. I y'all could be pissed off at me. Y'all ain't pissed. Y'all, y'all ain't still pissed at Andrew Luck. So hey, look. Yeah, I think yeah, we'll see if how he bounces back after this week. Uh, after they took that loss on Thursday night, so you know we'll see what happens and that all this information out. So it's gonna be interesting. We'll find out uh, sooner or later. And I think what their next game has to be oh Seahawks in Germany in two weeks. So I don't know who they play in week nine because week 10, I think, is the Seahawks-Germany game. Um, but see, what they close out week seven with the homie hometown plays of the week. Uh, the good old homies team, you, Rams, you were on a right. bye. You did all right. Look at it. So sticks. Let's see. I had Kenny Walker over 100 yards and one touchdown. Dude went off. 167 <laughs> yards, two touchdowns. If you ain't if you ain't scoured your fantasy league, uh, fantasy league two weeks ago Man, for yep. for uh, K Dub, you're missing out. You missed out. That was I tried. I even tried to get a trade for him early before it went off, and nobody wants to trade him. <laughs> of course, uh, I did it in a money in a league where there ain't no money involved. No, of course, Damn it. bullshit. Got it rolling there. Tariq <laughs> Woolen uh, interceptions, zero interceptions for Tariq. Uh, but you, got, you know, well, you had got a, one though. The, the Seahawks did get one. I had to roll with it, you know, trying yep. to get that five in a row. And then uh, Jason Myers, three field goals and the game over three and a half field goals. Uh, three for three on his field goal attempts. Yep. Hit that one right on the money. But the game did not hit the over three and a half because uh, good old Deuce Staley, not Deuce Staley, but Brandon Staley, yeah. uh, doesn't like to kick field goals. And, you know, nope. you just, you know, go with the his fourth down motion and see how that worked out for him. Seahawks got the dub. And that was a uh, pretty damn good game. And it was interesting uh, to see it actually play out that way. I figured they had a chance. I know we talked about them having a chance. So the chance was there and they took yeah, We knew that they had a chance. Uh, and and that, opportunity. that result, that result was just very interesting all around. Because that told me everything that I needed to know about the AFC West, man. I mean, it really did. You did bring it to fruition, didn't it? It told me everything that I needed to know because it's the Seahawks who are middling, who are, we're not sure whether they are motivated to do one thing or the other, right? But you have expectations. With the Lucky Land Slots, you can get lucky just about anywhere. This is your captain speaking. Uh, we've got clear runway and the weather's fine, but we're just going to circle up here a while and uh, get lucky. No, no, nothing like that. It's just these cash prizes add up quick. So I suggest you sit back, keep your tray table upright, and start getting lucky. Play for free at LuckyLandslots.com. Are you feeling lucky? No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Okay, round two. Name something that's not boring. A laundry? Ooh, a book club. Computer solitaire, huh? Ah, oh, sorry. We were looking for Chumba Casino. That's right. Chumbacasino.com has over a hundred casino-style games. Join today and play for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. Chumbacasino.com. No purchase necessary. Void were prohibited by law. Eighteen plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details. And you played at home. And like I said, that environment is not a home environment for a Chargers fan, especially if you're on the West Coast playing a West Coast you team. You did call that. 
because they gonna be in there and they was cheering and i told you it would pop off like that and it did and now uh let's get into week eight and um before we get into the home teams I mean, really, we kind of talked about Denver and Jacksonville earlier. I mean, it's exactly what you just said about the AFC West. You know, you got Denver playing Jacksonville in London. Yeah. Um, it, it, I really. Uh, I, <laughs> <laughs> OK, look, let's I mean, I don't want to fade. I don't want to fade Denver at all t- at all costs at this point. A two and a half point favorite, even though it's Jacksonville at two and right. five. Sounds like Trevor Lawrence has a little bit of uh, uh, controversy on his shoulders. Um, for what? For just not being able to to uh, make the completions. Oh, I mean, he right, throws right. like I mean, he said like fifty percent completion percentage. Yeah. You know, he's no Geno Smith. He's just and not he's all not there. and he's not airing the ball out. It's not yeah. going downfield at all. Right. So we'll see how that comes back. And then Jacksonville traded their uh yep. that james robinson to yep. the jets after the Brees hall injury um and Shout you got, Doug, the Pe- you got Doug peterson there man i mean yeah you see he he that's what he did in philly right he you know right. kind of took it easy took his steps took his uh lumps on the chin lumps on the head and uh turned that franchise around so uh it's gonna be interesting but i mean the russell wilson nonsense i mean he's just He's just in his, he's just too goofy and in his own head right now. I mean, you know. Well, all that we know about did his uh, team it, give up on him. All we know about Denver is that, you know, they are they are the typical poster child for the under team all year. That, that's just what they've been. They were heavily featured in the Thursday night travesty of 12 to whatever the hell it was. Okay. <laughs> and, yeah. and um, I have I have this game closer which surprises me even i have this game on pick them which I, even looking at my own power rank i was like why would i why would denver be the same as jacksonville but jacksonville took a couple of bad beats even though they've been playing better so i think that's what it is and the reason why they're favored is because they've been to london a right. bunch of times now maybe not with the same set of players but the franchise knows how to handle themselves when they get over there so i think that's probably what all the extra points is about i i don't know if i would i don't know if i even have a, a lean in this situation if i'm thinking it's more of a pick them it would probably be for me to take denver and those points um if on first impact yeah and yeah, I think, but looking at it i would say i think your no. line i think your line homie is actually more relevant and even though like you said if it's a home field advantage for Jacksonville being over there and that all that stuff type thing. Um, again, that really doesn't play out as much as it has in the, in the previous years with home field advantage, unless you're in freaking Kansas city or Seattle or, you know, a few other New Jersey um, areas to be doing that. But I, th- I would take uh, your pick them uh, advice over that a lot more than I would take the two and a half. Well, I look at it like this. The reason why um, I think that, yeah, I would, you'd almost, if it was three, you'd probably want to just roll with Jacksonville because I think that they could cover three, but that hook is what's scaring you because Jacksonville has got more upgrades on my sheet uh, than, and Denver's got, well, actually, I should say Denver's got more downgrades on my sheet than I gave Jacksonville upgrades. So they were projected higher. Yeah. Originally. Right. Right. Yep. So Jacksonville's only like moved in the same little pocket. Denver's like taking a precipitous <laughs> yeah. rain style like drop fall from the top <laughs> you know down to the so, bottom. So, I mean, look, I mean, the number would tell me to play uh, to Denver because they are supposed to be the better team. And for me to be sharp, that would, that's what I would be supposed to do. But my brain says I've seen this team and I don't want no parts of nothing to do with it. And that's again, and I agree with you 100%. And that's are they again, do now? Are they doing the, That's again one of those things like, <laughs> yeah, 100%. You know, the Denver Broncos are dead in the water, bro. That, dead that's in the, the water. That's the and then all of a coming. sudden, you know, Russell Wilson's going to come out and yep. throw for three touchdowns. They're going to put up 42 points. I mean, the fuck is going on? That's here? the damn betters trauma, right? You sit up yeah. here and you go, let me go find some information. You find the information that is solidifies your opinion, right? Yeah. Then you go and look and you go, oh, shit. But that is like, 
I don't want no parts of that. <laughs> you know, nope. That tells me this, but I don't want no parts of that. So yeah, I think that's, and that's that, the that's early game is. over uh, over here for us on the uh, the West Coast. So yes, sir. Um, what else, what do you what do you got on any of these games, homie? Because I mean, I'm really just going through, and like, I mean, I see a couple things that are just kind of yeah. jumping out, but it's yep. nothing that I really even care about. Just from a betting perspective perspective i again like the underdogs again that is what this week looks like so only thing that i'm going to do is i'll just shoot at you my power ranking deficiency so this is a good place for you to start so this is a place where my power rank is since y'all trusting it so much you know Ah. Ah. but anyway working since my if my power ranking is uh differs from what vegas is saying and there are a couple games and one uh miami detroit Here's, this is one where we would go, damn, I don't want no parts of that because we like Detroit. I, the, get, the game is sitting at, when I printed out my sheet, the opening line at three and a half to Miami. Mm-hmm. I have the game of five. I say Miami's way better than, that, than what they are saying. But D- Detroit in the last two weeks have taken two straight downgrades, right? Two yeah. bad, two, two, two bad ones that they that they lost. Okay. So, and meanwhile, you got two are coming back. And they've been through the worst of, I guess, what their worst is. And again, Miami staying in their little pocket. All right. So then, then we have New England, New Jersey. Well, I always call them New Jersey. I don't know why. It's mm-hmm. the Jets. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh the Vegas has a one and a half. I have it three and a half to New England. I have Do New, New England, you have three and I a half? I have New England even better. So huh. it should be safe to say with the New England, knowing in division, that you would probably take the one and a half and feel happy. Right. And even that's happy or not. I don't and that's care. going off your PR because I know you have the love for, this is with for Zach Wilson. That's what I'm saying. This is, with, this is them playing with Zappy. I've upgraded. Them. Okay, Tennessee. Yeah, but is, is it going to be Zappy this week or is it going to be back know. to Mac it's, Jones? Nobody but, knows that either. But look what happened last week. What happened last week? The snatch job. Get out of there. Put the kid back in. Okay. Where's my Where's my score at? What happened in New England last week? Where, where's my score after last week? Uh, New England. They were uh, lost thirty three fourteen. This the Chicago Football Bears. That's no. They were Monday. Okay. Yeah. 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 Monday, and, but yeah. see, he got snatched, and he got snatched halfway through because he started losing them the game. So. He got snatched three possessions in. He didn't even make it halfway through. And I All thought right. he was getting pulled on the second possession because he came off the sideline. And he he saw Bill Belichick. Bill Belichick greeted said, hey, him. You get one more yep. possession, son. Yep. You had hit and me. We better up, score. And we like, you're you were like, he ain't going sitting back over out. here by the kicker. Yep. <laughs> I didn't even see it. You were like, you hit me. He ain't going back out there. I was like, oh, what? <laughs> okay. And here, here we go. And you can tell me which one of these is the worst and which one you believe most in. This one here is the largest one. Mm -hmm. Tennessee, Houston. Opening line was two and a half to Tennessee. I have Tennessee to eight and a half, G. Tennessee is not even in my, Tennessee is not even in my top five teams, bro. That's what that tells you. This for them to get this big of a number. That's how bad Houston has been. I wonder if it's still at if it's still at two and a half, even with because now you got uh, Malik Willis starting at quarterback for Tennessee just came out today over Ryan Tannehill. But is, that a, is that a how big of a downgrade? I don't even think it's a downgrade. I think it's an upgrade. There you go. So what, what so, does that tell us? Yeah. So, I mean, if you're saying eight and a half and you can get it at two, I would definitely agree with the Tennessee at, at two and a half. Or if even you could three. find that two and a half, just take the two and a half and the three, either one and throw, yeah. them, throw the money down. I think yeah. you should be because good I think there because Houston, Houston has had a whole team. And we gave Houston the team. benefit of the doubt a couple times and the turned yes. around a little bit. And they haven't, not after the first two weeks, they haven't really been on the cover charge, the cover uh, rating there. And I'll tell you that I even had to do a uh, point correction on Houston. I had upgraded them too much because at one point I had them, you remember I had, when I talked about the bottom four or whatever, I had them wait, I had them out of that bottom four. Mm-hmm. and houston is not one of them teams that we consider to ever leave the bottom four it's like carolina chicago houston and the, the you could cycle the jets in you could cycle pittsburgh in right now but either one of them they, they all gonna be in that bottom four but i pulled them out so i had to recorrect and get them closer back 
uh, to that space with those guys because my lines were so far off. And I'll show you, give you an example. Last week, I had them, the line, Vegas had them plus seven and a half to Vegas. I had them three. That's how close I had that game. Vegas beat them 39-20. So I had them too tight. So I had to go back in and reevaluate, look at the numbers. And then I got Houston closer to where they should be because there's no way that my power ring should be that far off. And that's why it was a good call for you to catch that eight and a half. And that's why that every time I do that and I isolate these power ranking deficiencies, I look at Houston. I go, well, is Houston lower than I, should they be higher or should Tennessee be lower? Because why is my thing? Why is my joint this high? A right? little bit off, or a little bit of a discrepancy. Because Vegas would have caught that. So where am I off? So that's why I did the re the correction to get Houston there, and I still got to eight and a half. That's what I'm saying. What do you have for uh, Washington and Indy? Because I'd like to I'd like to hear. I'm I'm dead on with this. Exactly what Vegas opening line was three and a half. Uh, so yeah. I, I what is it now? Indy minus three. I'm sure it's three three and oh, a half. Okay. Yeah. Um. I'd take the points all day with uh, Washington after what they've been showing us, keeping uh, on, dog. And Heineke. Heineke, dog. Heineke is a – look, I'm going to tell real you. The real the, the homie is – I'm telling you, I'm getting into this, bro. I, I upgraded he, uh, uh, Washington on uh, Wentz's injury. <laughs> <Upgraded> <laughs> when do you take their a big-time yeah, big free agent signee we gave a gang of bread to, and you go back to last year's guy that got us to the playoffs. G, upgrade immediate. <laughs> to uh, Tyler Heineke, hot to the two. Washington is on the move, man. And uh, yeah, so I have that. I think that they're on the move. I don't know what this game's gonna look like because the the horseshoe is back to full strength. Now they got they got no. They're going with the Ellinger, right? Well, I mean, as far as the rest of the parts, and not not Matt Ryan and that in, oh, in, yeah. injury situation. As far as the rest of the components, uh, Jonathan Jonathan uh, Taylor is back. He played last weekend, some light duty to get warmed up. He's back. Okay, there we go. Now we got Shaq Leonard, a.k.a. Darius Leonard, a.k.a. whatever you want to call him. He's back, and he's a head raiser. You know how it is on defense. So I don't know. That's not what that – that one was dead on, so that one got no mention. Of course, the other mention is – this is the last one. Oh, no, there's one other one. Hometown. I got it. The points going the opposite way. Seattle versus New, uh, the Giants. I have it completely swung the other way. It's a full seven point swing. Opening line was Seattle to three and a half. I have it three and a half to the Giants. So yeah. that's a full touchdown swing. Something is seriously wrong there. And I, I listening to all the pros, the RJ and his boys, they were completely divided about everybody, what everybody thinks about what the Giants are doing and where they're going for, and what the Seahawks have done and where they're going. Everybody's high on both. So it's like, what do you do when you're, it's people who would say, yeah, three and a half to the Giants, I'll take that. There's no way they should be a dog in this situation. But right. this is Seattle. This is in Seattle. That mm -hmm. Them fans is them fans, okay? Now the team, now we're short DK Metcalf now. I don't know, but we got a good two TDs out of Marquise Goodwin, though. Right. I don't know. I, yeah, I think this – I would I would agree with your line on this one, homie, even though it's a, a home game for the Seahawks. I mean, I think the Giants are still not getting enough love. I mean, we picked them last week uh, yeah. to win when they were an underdog as well. Yes, sir, covered up. It came, it came close, but, you know, down to the last play against Jacksonville, right? Um Yep. Well, yeah, I would definitely take the and the, and the thing with the, I don't have the numbers. I usually print up the numbers. I haven't had a chance to do that this week, but uh, the know. Seahawks run defense is still not good. I mean, they only gave up yeah. like 50 yards rushing to the Chargers last week, but that's because, you know, the Chargers aren't weren't utilizing the run game when they were down and then they just want to throw the ball. They got just as good of a run as getting the ball to Eckler out of the backfield. Right. Great stat. Here's here's the even better. Here's the even better one for you or equal to. Seattle, number one rushing offense per touch. Nice. Giants, worst defense rushing per touch, per carry. Huh. Interesting. I heard that in the battle of conversations between this game, because I think this is the most contentious game that people are spending time on talking about this week. Yeah, I mean, you get when you go from 
uh, when you have a five and two uh, Giants team and you have a, a four Shut and up. three Seahawks game, which nobody Rockets. expected the Seahawks to be even around there. And you got it, you know, a, a Sunday afternoon game. Uh, it'll definitely be uh, for you got the East Coast and the West Coast, right? So yes, you're going to have very good viewership uh numbers wise this game, on this for sure. game for sure at the one o'clock hour red zone is going to be lit up with these guys because you know they're going to keep the giants based on what they've been doing live in that window because we're talking tennessee houston washington indy of course the rams will finally get some red zone love playing the 49ers without debo this week which would be nice for us because he kills us and then you got that then you got that seahawks game um and that's that that's that uh that late uh late window and then when we talking about the snitching hour <laughs> you know what I'm saying <laughs> when the nfl starts to snitch on itself uh-huh. and it says what it really wants to happen okay uh, i think that the giants and the seahawks to be heavily featured in there too because i think that the rams game is going to be boring so the rams but, uh, and, yeah san francisco at lar yeah I, i'm gonna tell you what um what i also saw and noticed when you know you remember when i went to the uh, diatribe of the overs and the unders and blah 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 blah, blah with the sevens. Yeah. this has become over uh, over league g i hate to tell you you know what i'm saying I, it's, I, I, it's sneaking I, back up there i mean i hate to tell you i mean i got uh a, a, a number right here for you that i'm gonna tell you and you'll be shocked to hear it. and i wrote this down hold on let me get my let me get my joint here we go where to go oh Real quick. Okay. 43 is now the average total points in a game. Okay. Mm-hmm. Average. That's the average total achieved by two teams on the gridiron, battling it out for supremacy. Do you know when the last time the average was 43 in the NFL? It was 12 damn years ago. 2010 so this is what i'm saying so hardcore unders were through week six ish and now it's starting to bounce back up ah so what somebody that i heard i would give him his credit since i hear we supposed to <laughs> or they <laughs> or they say you said it but uh i forget who said it is can't give him credit if we don't remember who the hell they were i, I just really don't uh, i don't remember So is this the week where the NFL puts in the call to the zebras to say, cut that shit out. Let's let's play ball. I'm glad you bring that up because it has been relatively silent on the flag part after we discussed that two weeks ago Mm -hmm. uh, about these these zebras throwing their uh, little yellow hanky pinky flags around out of control for what freaking 32 times a game or whatever it was um this might be the this might be the the slippery slope if you're going to be looking at those overs and unders and that's and that's where too hard to get into and buy into and so if you look at that and then you look at some of the numbers okay so say you say that call was made i looked at it as say that call was made I challenge everybody under my voice today, including the boy sticks, you go through and look at some of the totals because I don't have the totals. I just got the, uh, I just got the spreads. If you go back and look at the totals, these totals is mad low. They will have you looking at all of them real suspect. There's some 38s in there. I think the, the New England and the Jets game is 38 now. It's a bunch of 40s out there. You're going to look like this ain't the NFL that I'm used to seeing. If these are the numbers, I should be making a mint this week on the over. I know the boy sticks is. Look at it. He, he's yeah. wiping it, wiping the corner of him uh, <laughs> right there now, thinking about overs, right? Because he's seeing these numbers. But there's reasons. I'm telling you, there's reasons for these numbers. Or is this the week? Is this the week that you could make a grip off these numbers and then they're going to f- uh, fix them moving forward? And then now it'll be the jockeying between the over and the under? Or is it, or all of these numbers, are you going to hit below these numbers that they've dropped them to? Come on, it can't be, right? It can be. I mean, I wish I had, uh, I, you know, I was fast enough on my typing skills to pull up scoring. You know what I'm saying? Who's leading in scoring this year? 
know what I'm saying, in terms of in the league. But I do know the that yeah. the Raiders are number one in scoring <laughs> in a category, and they're shitty. Okay? They literally are number one in a scoring category. I don't, I've done so much research. I don't know which one it is. Okay. I'm sorry, folks. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I haven't. Uh, I usually so pull that research. up. I don't have a recent one on the, on the offensive scoring totals, but. Right. Um, but I mean, look, we can't do all the work for you guys. Our job is to entertain. <laughs> okay. You go do the rest of the work yourself. You have to go back and confirm our information to before you make any move if you want to make one. Yeah, we'll pull up the we'll have to pull up those numbers like you said the over uh the over under total game totals to see how long the uh see how much the line has moved from the opening uh line and see how mar is how much it's moved since then. So um oh snap. What do you got on your Rams and then let's hit the homie hometown plays of the week. And let's roll out as soon as I find everything. There we go. Hey, look at me. Uh, all right. Well, shoot. Yeah. What do you got for your Rams? Uh, you know, you said you don't like this game at all. Uh, I'm really not. It's not one of the, it, the only thing that really enthuses me about this game is the fact that Debo is not in it. Okay. Yeah. And that gives me the reason what that what that really does for me is that allows for me to get an eye on a defense that doesn't look like they're constantly under threat. Whenever that boy Debo is out there, the Rams off defense looks like they are constantly under threat for this game to be over. And I just don't like that feeling, bro. I really don't. Okay, with that dude being out there. So um, maybe I'll get a chance to see the defense look good, maybe. Okay. And with that. Um, what that's going to lead me to do is press all of my uh, my uh, chips in on defense performance when I'm talking about homies hometown this week. OK, so we're going to do it this way. OK, uh, since I called this game a pick them, the pros would have this game uh, leaning to the 49ers with no Debo, as I mentioned before, 49ers defense scores less than. Dig this, 17 points allowed by the Rams defense, okay? Rams defense allows less than 17? Less than 17. No more than 17. I got to be, uh, you know, correct with these words because litigious types will say that you said 17. You know what I'm saying? 17 or less, okay? All right, so 17 is included in that. All right, with that, there will be Count them, three sacks of Garoppolo. Seems fairly easy to do under these circumstances. Not having enough time. One I-N-T. That I-N-T will belong to the one and only Jalen Ramsey. Mark it up. Rams win by one of the, uh, okay. Now, I don't know. And you said over 43 and a half? No, oh, I ain't touching that. Okay. <laughs> I think it's under. It's yeah. under. This is an under game. This is under gonna be. Okay. This is gonna be one of them scores where you're gonna look up because I'm telling you, the 49 is scoring no more than 17. Yeah. Okay. This is gonna be one of them scores that it's gonna be like this game tells us nothing. The Rams will win, but if the 49ers are scoring less than 17, what does that mean? The Rams score 19, 19. to 12. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's gonna be some scoregami, <laughs> some scoregami bullshit. It's gonna scoregami, yep. There that's you go. gonna that's gonna piss me the hell off watching it. And every time that it comes on uh the damn red zone, because I have no chance to see the whole game with the Seahawks playing at home. Okay, the, with with that, every time it comes on, I'm gonna be pissed off because <laughs> they guys are gonna be are you getting who gonna be out there? The homie Matt Gay or the new punter who I don't know his name yet, or uh definitely could put you definitely could count on Ben Skoraniak to have a couple touches out there at tight I'm going, at, I'm at going, fullback yep <laughs> uh Scott Hansen here on the red zone and we're gonna check in with the Rams and we've got a Skoranik <laughs> a Skoranik sighting a rumbling stone like Skoranik <laughs> down there down there five oh man Hey, well, my homie hometown play of the week. I'm going. Uh, I'm going with uh, good old boy Lockett to get over 100 yards this game. He has two on the Fantasy. season. 
but the last two uh, outings, he's only had 45 and 17 yards um, on catches of five and four, I believe. Um, maybe even two catches in that 17 game. Uh, but he has two, two, uh, two games this year so far with the over 100 with the locket or with DK being out, definitely mm-hmm. going to be the go to. So lock it going with over the 100, which you're actually probably going to be able to get it at like 75, 85. I think so. Uh, maybe. So, but I'm putting over 100. And then I'm going back to good old faithful. Yeah, you got the, to. They, they, they did they let me down last week in a way, but I'm going full game over three and a half field goals. Oh, that's where you're going. Okay. Yep. Going that, with that. Okay. I'm this leaving, I'm leaving that. Kenny Walker out of this one. So I don't want to be any part of the jinx oh, for that. i uh, leaving him out. I went with the and good old, I, can, I went with Lockett. This is one where you could feel, you could have felt good about this. They play in the worst defense. I, mean, I know. Now that you it. say that, now that you say that, I like it. I like it a lot. So, but yeah, I went with the lock at over a hundred and then, uh, ga- uh, the game over three and a half because these points are going to be good. And I could see this, uh, game being definitely an over game at 45. Yeah. It could come down to 30, 27. Uh, like, wait, like, no, let, let me like rephrase that. Cause some something dumb like ass, last week. Yeah. Some dumb yeah. ass kicker is going to miss an extra point. So mm-hmm. it'll be 29, 27, um, something like that. So It'll be close, but it'll definitely hit the yeah. over. And that kind of leans you toward, and I still think the Seahawks are going to win this game. I think it's going to be a good one, but I would probably, uh, uh, if you got that three and a half with uh, the Giants, it's going to be one of those good old-fashioned Lumen Field uh, tight, close games. Might be a little bit, might be a little bit of sprinkly tomorrow. I don't think any of the, either one of these teams care about that because they're trying to run. But I think that uh, the – the, the big unit bit on the walker over over yards man is come on this is coach pete dog yeah you like and you know you're 100 we need to on that. find out what that number is y'all okay then find out where your wallet's at find your phone go to your app <laughs> or get the direction <laughs> to the local casino and get you get your kenny walker three money down do you think okay. Do you think it's gonna be, think it can be even anywhere over uh, close to a hundred? I mean, it no. can't be with running back by committees these days. It's got to only be like no, 65, uh, 60, 69, I'm thinking 69, That's 68, thinking. something like that. Um, I, it, Derrick Henry's numbers aren't like in the 90s and stuff like that. No, right. No. So I think that, uh, I think that that's going to be a number that even if it is 80, it's yeah, the wildest it, occurrence at this 80, I think you're still good because that's the game that Pete wants to play. And yeah, if you're gonna he get breaks it. a couple, you're up. And if you're going exactly what big homie just told you, uh rust defense allowed by the Giants is just as bad as the Seahawks rush defense allowed. Um, but uh DK is out. I mean, I want to control the ball, I want to have the ball, I don't want to be doing this with Gino trying to force it into Lockett and these other cats. I want to play Pete, but coach Pete ball is what the perfect opportunity to do that. Uh, Who's, who's backing up. What's my man's name? Not DJ. Uh, Who's the dude. Who's my man's backing him up. Um, The running. Yeah. The running back. And then DJ backing him up. I thought it was DJ Dallas. Yeah. DJ Dallas. And then they just activated Travis Homer. Or am I missing somebody? No, I think I think you're right. I think it, DJ has been getting the, the sporadic uh, 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 rest plays for him, but he hasn't had like significant time on the field where you've seen him giving him big no. spells. That's what I like about K Dub is that he stays out there, right? And he has the, and his running style is. I mean, it reminds me of when you remember when Le'Veon Bell first came in and he looked like he was just kind of maneuvering, Patient, yeah. And then next thing you know, bow. It, that's what it, that's what it reminded me. I mean, you know, I don't know if it's one of those Michigan State things. They teach that over there. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know that they teach that over there, but he got it. I, and and he know. did. And and like you said, he he broke. He gets. He's very uh, acceptable to break in a couple 30, 40 yard runs. And Easy. and and if there's no, and if he has the opportunity to get away from somebody, he's getting away from that DB. Oh, yeah. it, with his acceleration speed and all that so you know he can definitely outrun you uh outrun your defensive backs and your linebackers once he gets through that line so 
definitely peep that out, but it'll be, uh, be ready for that, uh, 69 yards, uh, but minus 170. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Why is course. Yeah, 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 you already know. I, I, you should be looking that for that. That nonsense. See that when it you, pulls up. Make yeah. sure you, uh, what do you, what do you say, homie? Uh, make sure you research every opportunity sports book in your area and find the best number. You, get, you, you have to do you, you owe yourself that uh, other than that them commercials that the nfl does they're about you about being responsible <laughs> be responsible <laughs> Those, their commercials are about you okay <laughs> um but yeah no i think uh this week is gonna be even though uh, there's not a lot of you know marquee matchups and stuff like that there's some division matchups out here you know so you only have two teams on by so you got a full slate you got a london you got some london action so i think they're going they're going to write up some stuff for us that that we're going to enjoy because look at what the standings look like now so now let's move on let's change topics a little bit from the uh, uh the numbers and, and making some money to the standings like what does it mean? what if the seahawks win 5 and 3 and uh, okay 5 and 3 and now we have to make that decision about how we're going to play the season out. Cause then that would mean if the Rams win that the, the Niners are three and five Rams, four and three. Right. So, or what if the giants win? What if the giants are seven and one in that division with Philly and Dallas who Dallas, if they win will be seven and two. What the hell kind of division is that with Philly, Dallas and them? Yeah. That's right. what I'm saying. Look at what these stories might develop into now. Because what if Denver both? <laughs> I don't know, dude. And Denver, Denver comes out with a win and then. Denver wins. Vegas wins. <laughs> okay. So now, now the AFC West will now look like something. Because now it looks Still like. Looks now like now, trash, but. Yeah, but it now looks like the fight might be on. Right. It'll be that one week wonder. That's what I'm saying. So there's still some there's still some stories to be written out here. And you still got you know, the Buffalo's on a bye, but then you got you know, the Jets could be six and two, Miami could be five and three, New England could be four and four. You're looking you at the Buffalo's AFC. On by. East. Buffalo, you know, by. Buffalo's got the uh, Buffalo. Oh, they were on by last, situation. Yeah, yeah, they were on by we, last week. That's right. Okay, now look at that. What if? What if? <laughs> not if. Okay, what if Green Bay beats Buffalo? Okay. Miami wins. Miami will now be five and three. Buffalo will then be five and two. Yeah. And you got, you still have the jets in there and you still have new England in there. (laughs) Somehow new England is there. So they always are. If you map it out like this, like the possibilities, and then you got Philly now going undefeated to play the, uh, the Steelers, which in every estimation, this is a smoke show. Okay, this is a perfect opportunity for Philly to take the first loss, right? Just get it out the way, right? Yep. You ain't going to go undefeated. Hey, you know how the NFL likes it. You know how the storylines go. And this is exactly that's why, when you, that's when you exactly why homie brings it up, because he knows exactly how this week's going to play out a little bit. You think, you think, uh, you think uh, Mike Tomlin's rolling into Philly to roll over at a 10 and a exactly. half point underdog? Exactly. All of a sudden, he's going to pull out the... Uh, pull out the oh well we're a a a better team than we've been playing and we're gonna go in and uh just break down the undefeated team the only undefeated team left in the nfl that as you just said homie the 1972 dolphins ain't gonna break it out the undefeated season so is this the one you give away i I hope not at home at a 10 and a half point favorite i mean if you look at what philly's working with i mean they have some wide receivers okay okay Najee says he's feeling better so you have your wide receiver, you got your defense, even though, you know, you don't have TJ Watts, you don't have the pressure, but you got make a Fitzpatrick and you got all the guys back there who love to hit people. That's what Philly's about, or not Philly's about, that's what Pittsburgh's about, Pittsburgh, right? Yeah. You have all of that. All you need is Kenny Pickett to play a game, get the ball to the guys, right? So, and then you have Philly doing what they've done and nobody understands what they're doing. Because they have, all they do is, you know, that they run the ball. But now AJ is there and Devontae Smith is there. Oh God, it's Dallas Goddard. Okay. They got guys over there. So 
I mean, you would think that they should be able to be win this game, but this is the game. <laughs> okay, this is the game. This is the Mike Tomlin game. Yep, the Mike. And this Tom- is the game that Mike they Tomlin dump. shows up for those games, man. This is the game that Philly dumps that uh, kind of corrects their that's mind. Crazy. That corrects their mind and says, oh, shit, we can't just be fucking around this season. We ain't going to go undefeated. Well, so I, we do have, I do have uh, I do have, Pittsburgh as one of my underdog oh, plays, shit. plus 10 and a half. It'll no. probably go up a little bit, but and why I do like you? that. I have I have him closer. I got her two and a half points closer. The opening line is 10 and a half. I have it to eight. Yeah, see? So, I if mean. you can get 10 and you like the underdog, you might as well take it. Take the points. Oh man, that yeah, a, that was an energetic. That was an energetic show, bro. I'm trying well, to tell we, you, I, I, I kind of like flaw, doing it like doing it like that a little bit. But I think every week, every week throws a different ball at us, so we don't know, you know what pitch we're gonna get. So and we don't we know gonna, what the hell time we can put together. You know, chasing. You know, me and my unemployment ass should have all this time in the world, but you know, bouncing around doing these interviews and you know being a good uncle and uh, you know you chasing those little kids around and you know uh the anonymous mri homie anonymous acupuncture homie and yeah. now the anonymous uh forgetful homie out there in the I streets did, I, didn't, I, didn't even say, I didn't even say that right so uh, i'm out here like like don't we mentioned i'm out here doing acupuncture right i'm doing trying all kinds of stuff to uh, neutralize this uh, uh daily pain situation i get up the other day and go i gotta get to this acupuncture Go grab my wallet. I ain't got no damn wallet. Guess what I was doing the night before? I was at the damn hospital getting an MRI. <laughs> I go, oh, shit. I go tear up the car. I, I literally tore up the house. I'm talking about literally. I'm talking about couch cushions every fucking where. <laughs> it clothes, drawers, dressers, everything. Shit was fucked up. And because I, I don't misplace nothing. So I get frustrated at myself when something gets misplaced like that because I don't believe I've lost it. Right. right. So... I'm going, I had to put it somewhere and I forgot it. I started fucking, I go, you know what? It's time. I done tore the house up twice. It's time to give it up. I call the hospital. Go talk to the security. Yep, we got it. Damn it. (laughs) Fuck. Was everything there when you picked it up? I don't keep no damn money in there. So yeah, everything was in there. (laughs) They said, we don't, we don't want to, we don't want the the MRI homie. No, oh, and we don't uh, we don't want the, the Fed charge of trying to go and test these cards out or whatever. So but so I do that and and just like you said, you know, I'm just forget for homie. This ain't the first instance of this. I ain't gonna tell you about the last time I was in Vegas, bro. Oh my god, you lose something in Vegas. Do you think you're gonna get it back? Any no. chance? What'd you lose there? Yeah, lost something in Vegas too. And I had to head on the uh, uh, the anonymous blind homie. It can't see, <laughs> so I got a prescription sunglasses for occasions when the sun is out and you're in a nice environment like Vegas. Okay, so I'm in the sunglasses. Boom, I'm in the sunglasses. Then you're going in and out of hotels. I ain't taking my shit on and off. <coughs> so I finally get somewhere and we decide to eat. Take the sunglasses off, put them in the case. Da, 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 da. We eat, pay the bill. Boom, we out of there. The next day, headed down to the pool. Ah, sunglasses. Oh, shit, what are sunglasses? Damn, what are sunglasses? Oh. Left the sunglasses on the damn table, paid for the check, and bounced the hell out. Went to the damn security once again. They said, give us a minute, we'll find out. Come back and holler at us in an hour. You believe somebody in Vegas turned my damn shit in? They probably, they probably just saw that it wasn't no designer, Dior, Gucci shit and like they were that. prescription yeah sunglasses. and was like I can't see shit in here fuck this somebody come here I'm t- I found this I don't want this hey you're shit. two for two on the not as, uh forgetful homie bro I gotta chill out with I gotta yeah chill don't out. don't don't go for three for three I was saying I gotta chill out with them gummies man I mean, yeah they might be helping with the pain but I mean, I, hey, hey. I'm out here forgetting more shit than I used to. <laughs> so yeah, I'll have to relax. Odds aren't gonna roll in your favor. You just like uh, sometimes the uh, you gotta pull back from the sports betting. You gotta pull back yeah. from being Mister uh, Announced Big Forgetful Homie because that shit will turn around and bite you in the ass sooner or later. You leave, you're gonna leave your wallet around and then 
your identity will be exactly submerged. Yeah. Well, see, it, and it's worse now because while I'm sitting up here trying to fucking, I got too much shit to carry now, dog. I'm holding the fucking cane. I'm trying to hold whatever kind of shit I'm drinking. Okay. Right? I got a phone. And, and this is all happening through the house. So I'm just dr- sitting shit down constantly. Jeez, I don't never know. And, yeah. Oh, I'm going to grab this and then put this in this pocket. And then I need I, this. When I was walking fine, everything went into a pocket and I walked. Okay, now I'm carrying all this shit. I had canes to carry, and juice, and, and, and all, it's too much shit, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So why, if you're able, able-bodied out there, uh, don't take for granted what you got, okay? <laughs> because shit gets hard when you can't do shit, okay? When you can't do shit, I'm telling you, all oh, kind of other get... stuff starts coming out. That's right. Now you done put shit down and forgot you left it. Well, we popped one off a little better late than never appreciate everybody for the patience and uh we thank you all for listening please subscribe rate and review on whatever uh podcast platform you listen to go to this is funner.com for more podcasts and online content grab some merch while you're there from the funner family and shout out to chris the producer he does all the hard work for everybody out there so peep it out and then check out our youtube channel uh subscribe and smash that like button there as well and follow me on twitter at stick zero and five follow this guy and us big homie at homie underscore anonymous we appreciate y'all listening you got anything else for the people there uh mr uh forgetful anonymous big forgetful homie i forgot (laughs) this is funner That was Sports Fix with Sticks. Thank you for listening, and don't forget to subscribe, rate, and review the show. If you want to join the show, use the hashtag Sticks and Sports. Winners don't make excuses.